Here we are on Newcomb Avenue in San Francisco's Islaus Creek watershed. I'm standing next to what's called a rain garden, which is actually part of San Francisco's sewer system. During a storm, rain that falls on Newcomb Avenue flows into this rain garden through inlets in the curb. This rain garden is planted with special plants that can tolerate periodic flooding in the winter and San Francisco's dry summer weather. They're growing in a special soil that percolates water into deeper soils during a rainstorm. In large rainstorms, this rain garden can get filled with water. Excess water flows through the drain in the middle of the rain garden back into the sewer system. Rain gardens are an example of green infrastructure. Green infrastructure uses the natural power of soils and plants in order to slow down, clean, and remove stormwater before it reaches our sewer system. These pavers over here are not just a way to beautify the street and give more character to the street, they are also green infrastructure. These permeable pavers were specially designed to allow rainwater to soak through them and infiltrate into the soil below. Rain gardens and permeable pavement are two types of green infrastructure the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission will be implementing across the city's eight urban watersheds as part of the sewer system improvement program. Most of San Francisco has a combined sewer system. In a combined sewer system, rainwater is collected in the same network of pipes and tunnels as sewage. This network of pipes and tunnels, or gray infrastructure, bring the combined stormwater and sewage to the wastewater treatment facilities, where it is treated before being discharged to the bay or to the ocean. During large storms, San Francisco's system can be overwhelmed, leading to flooding in low-lying areas and combined sewer discharges to the bay and the ocean. The SFPUC will address these and other challenges through the Urban Watershed Assessment. The Urban Watershed Assessment is the planning process for the next 20 years of green and gray infrastructure improvements to the city's aging sewer system. Working in tandem with major gray infrastructure upgrades like pipe replacements and tunnel upgrade, green infrastructure like these rain gardens here will be used to solve problems like combined sewer discharges and flooding in low-lying areas. Did you know that everyone in San Francisco lives or works in one of the city's eight urban watersheds? A watershed is an area of land that drains water by gravity to a receiving body of water, such as a river, lake, or ocean. Historically, San Francisco had a network of creeks and streams that collected and conveyed stormwater to the San Francisco Bay or the Pacific Ocean. During a storm, rainfall would collect and slowly work its way down the hills flowing through plants, soils, marshes, and wetlands that slowed it down and kept it clean. Today, San Francisco is a densely developed city covered in hard impervious surfaces like asphalt and concrete. Rain that falls on San Francisco's roads and rooftops flows quickly to the nearest storm drain, carrying oil, grease, and other pollutants with it. Green infrastructure, like this rain garden and this permeable paving, take advantage of natural watershed functions like evaporation and infiltration to keep rainwater out of the city's sewer system. This relieves the burden on the city's aging pipes and tunnels and also keeps San Francisco's watersheds healthy. The SFPUC is currently in process of planning and designing eight major green infrastructure projects in different San Francisco neighborhoods. You too can join the discussion about the future of our sewer system and our urban watersheds. Sign up online for our e-newsletter, come to a workshop, fill out an online survey. You can find out more information about how to get involved on our website, sfwater.org slash urbanwatersheds.